it's just cool. It's a thrill. I mean, um, you know, it's a team I grew up watching and rooting for, and um, you know, it's just a great opportunity for me. Adam, would you really strike out Babe Ruth every time? <laughs> Probably not, but um, you know, it's it's a silly thing. I mean, he's he's long gone, and uh, you know, it's a different different time period. Do you think that those comments were a little misconstrued? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I wasn't trying to disrespect a legend, obviously, but uh, talk more about evolution of pitching in the game. And, uh, you know, probably a name I shouldn't have used in that example. <laughs> so you've learned something about Yankee lore and Yankee tradition going forward? I think so. I think so. Yeah, that's fair to say. What was your attitude toward the Red Sox when you were growing up as a Yankee fan? I wasn't too big on the Red Sox uh, as, a, as a kid. But then, you know, I went to college in Boston, and I had a lot of my closest friends are diehard Red Sox people, so kind of learned to appreciate that, too, while I was there. But um, overall, I mean, it's a great rivalry. It's great to be a part of. Was it a no-brainer to wear the number zero? Uh, not a no-brainer. I mean, uh, I didn't want to do anything to upset people, but um, I had to be myself and didn't know what the uh, organization would, would think. Um, so I said, it's kind of in your, balls in your court. And, uh, you know, for me, it's just a number, so um, something I'm comfortable with. There wasn't any other single-digit number available, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm well aware of that. <laughs>